So we have to talk about Peter Ducey for one second. Sure. Okay. Okay. Is he a stupid son of a bitch or does he play a stupid son of a bitch on TV? <laughs> okay. Um, well, um, he works for a, a network. Okay. That um, provides people with questions that nothing personal to any individual, including Peter Ducey, but might make anyone sound like a stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> so, well handled. Um, well. Wow, Jen Psaki, the current White House press secretary, soon to be on MSNBC, all the news is swirling around that. She was on Pod Save America's live show, and this was getting talked about before the audio came out, how she was asked that question about Peter Ducey and the a stupid son of a bitch line. And she included Fox News feeding him lines, which John Roberts, who works at Fox News as well, wasn't very happy about that assessment, specifically about being fed his lines. This is what John Roberts said in response on Twitter. He says, note to press secretary, Peter Ducey makes the decisions on what topics he wants to quiz you on and develops the questions himself. His philosophy is a basic tenet of journalism, comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. If that makes all of us stupid SOBs, then so be it. It's really fast on that because John Roberts on the first half of that, it seemed like he was going, hey, listen, Peter Ducey makes up those stupid questions. Don't include me on it or us or whoever else on Fox. This isn't fed to him, which I was like, okay. Fine. Then it went on to how awesome in this philosophy that Ducey has with asking these questions is actually what's so awesome. Well, John McCain, the uh, 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 deceased now John McCain that uh, is like now embodied in this maverick of a Republican. At one point he had an interaction with uh, Peter Ducey and he doesn't agree with John Roberts assessment about his journalistic integrity, watch. I really appreciate Senator it. Senator McCain, just a quick question. Has your relationship with the president break to the point that you are not going to support anything that he comes to you and asks? Why would you say something that stupid? Why would you ask something that dumb? Huh? My job as a United States Senator is a Senator from Arizona, which I was just reelected to. You mean that I am somehow going to behave in a way that I'm going to block everything because of some personal disagreement? That's a dumb question. Well, it's not just uh, Biden and Saki, but it's also John McCann. I wonder if they're going to bring him up every time. But uh, Saki was feeling apparently some of the heat and she did respond to this assessment. So she tweeted it back as well. She says, the full video shows that I also told a story about Peter's grace last night. It made very clear that it was I was not being critical of him or any reporter Fox. And instead was critical of the slant of some Fox topics. He's doing his job, I'm doing mine. We debate, we disagree. I respect that is what she said. Um, so I don't know. That I, I, I knew when this was gonna happen, David. I knew, I mean, I knew once I heard this, that this was gonna happen off of that. Is everyone then gonna go to, oh, she was being crude and boorish and just calling people sick son of a bitches and all this. So, which by the way, she should have seen that coming and maybe not found herself in this position. Yeah, I mean, maybe she should have anticipated this. And also because of she is going to work for MSNBC and there's a conflict of interest in right. terms of criticizing another network's White House correspondent. But to be fair to Jen, um, I mean, look, Peter Ducey, yeah, he may be a nice guy and he may be a smart guy, but I don't respect somebody who does take the Fox News talking points or questions that get handed to you and ask them verbatim. And if Peter Ducey, I think, had any sense of independence or real responsibility or self shame, he would say, okay, I'm not going to ask this question because that's an idiotic question. I'm going to maybe get to the point a different way. And I think the problem with Peter Ducey is all too often he's just, he just gives up. Okay, management wants this question. I'll just sort of ask it this way and so be it. And I'll take the heat. And maybe it makes me look good among conservatives, but maybe it does make me look like a dumb SOB among people who know better. Um, so, you know, Peter Ducey may be a nice guy, and I've heard he's a nice guy. But to me, if you're going to constantly carry water for that management, um, you don't get much. You don't get much respect from from any of us. So, what do you see? So of course, we're speculating, but I mean, I feel like you've been in the game more than I have on this aspect. So, with John Roberts' response like that, do you think there's a level to some uh, reality to that? Because he said they're not fed any of these lines. Peter Ducey comes up with these things himself. I don't believe that Peter Ducey comes up with this himself. I mean, unless he sort of channels, okay, what would management really want me to ask today? Or what's the issue that might please management today? So maybe in that regard, sure, he comes up with the wording or he comes up with the topic. Um, but again, I think if Peter Ducey wasn't concerned about what the Fox News management or viewers constantly thought, Peter Ducey would ask far more incisive, thoughtful questions that actually generate news as opposed to generate controversy. Well. Definitely generated that. And then he did talk about that whole back and forth with Biden. So, I mean, 
he gets talked about plenty. And I think anyone wants to get some energy and some and, and, and attention around them, especially when it comes to back and forth like this when it's partisan versus partisan. Okay, so here we go. 